Hi guys and welcome to a brand new makeup chat video. Today I'm going to do a makeup look with my best friend's new makeup palette. I am so excited. My friend Bunny, Graveyard Girl here on YouTube, came out with her own eyeshadow palette and lipsticks from Tarte Cosmetics. She collabed with them and ugh, the colors are so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's like a whole bunch of gorgeous like oranges because orange is totally her eye color. It like just goes with her eyes and face so well. We'll see if it goes with mine. And like these beautiful plums and gold. There's gold in there I love because I love gold eyeshadow and she does too and bronzes and it's just so beautiful for everyday and more dramatic nighttime looks. I will try to do something a little different today. I wish I had time to do multiple makeup looks. We will see what happens. And she came out with two liquid lipstick colors. One's called Texas Toast and this one's called Swamp Family. Of course, it's her traditional red. Reds make your teeth look beautiful. They just like, is so like a time period signature look. Speaking of time period, oh my gosh, my outfit and my hair. I look like I came from a different era. But we are gonna do a makeup look. You, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know how this goes. I will apply a beauty makeup look, tell the products I am applying to my face so you can see how it's going, but I'm gonna sit here and chat to you like we're BFFs. Are you fine with that? Are you cool? Because it's going to happen. And today, I wanted to talk about my favorite places to hang out at. These are places that are completely like free 99. You don't have to like pay for anything. Well, in California, sometimes you have to pay for parking. We're not going to include that. So they're not only just places in California. I'm going to give you tips on like places you can find in your own hometown. So this is going to be just like not decoration yet. It's just useful right now to get my bangs out of my eyes. And we're gonna untie this so that I could put like makeup everywhere. I feel like a businessman who just took off his shirt and tie. There is so many things I wanna talk about. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I was one of those nerds as a kid who like didn't really party or do anything. Okay, Mr. Truck. And I just wanted to find ways to hang out with my friends and do things that didn't cost money and where I didn't have to like always go out and party or drink because I still don't drink and still don't party. We're going to use this for the first time and I feel like I just don't need a stimulant to have fun. Nothing against people who want to drink or do other things to have fun but that's just not me whatsoever. Ooh, this is looks like pudding. Now I want butterscotch pudding. So, free things that you and your friends can do to not get in trouble and have like a little bit of fun. I feel like with anything, it all depends on who you hang out with on how you have fun. It all depends on the person you're with. So if you have really good friends, like literally when I was growing up in high school, we would go to McDonald's and play board games. Like that sounds really boring and not interesting, but it was so fun because all my friends were complete nerds who were like, art and drama majors like me. I wasn't a drama major, but I was an art major. Another completely free and fun thing is, well, not all of them out here in California are free, but swap meets. I know it looks like I just got punched in the face, but we're gonna blend it out. It's gonna look cute later, promise. The swap meet, my favorite one is at Pasadena City College. It's completely free and you don't even have to buy things there to have fun just looking at everything and there's so many interesting people there. You can find old odd things. They even have stuff that aren't antiques there. Like it's mostly an antique swap meet which is my favorite thing because I like looking at old things that you don't see every day. They also have like nerdy things. They have like a booth for like nerdy collectibles and which I like too. There's like two outdoor sections and then a four-story parking structure full of like people that are selling you things. And I don't even buy anything there necessarily. I just go to have fun and like look at all the things and touch them I'm like, ooh, this is cool. And something else that's similar to swap meets that is totally free is art walks. We have these things out here where like people make arts and crafts and stuff and they sell them. And like even some of my friends work them. Like my friends who are very artsy and stuff, they'll sell things there. And it just is a fun good time because like just to see anything where someone has made something from their hands it just is so interesting to me and you meet new people and get to talk to them and another thing that's really good and free to hang out at is convention centers not all of them are free to go to a convention but some of them are like they have expos on people that give away free food sometimes or I don't like the smell of this foundation but I like the coverage of it, so we're just gonna deal, you know? Ooh, I have some powder just all over this eye. I didn't even notice. I hope it matches me because I've been getting tan, girl, because 
I've been like going outside. I know, crazy thought and idea. I rarely do that. Just for exercise and like running places. Like exercise, we kind of need it sometimes. Weird. Another fun thing that to do that's completely free to go to is farmer's markets. I've talked about this in my last makeup video. Oh my goodness, farmer's markets are the bomb. Farmer's markets is like... Sam's Club are those amazing grocery stores that give you free food like you get to have free food and test it like yes, please My taste buds were made and ready for this girl that coverage though is so good. Okay, Tara You did good on this you did good. This would not be good for traveling though It's like a heavy piece of glass like a paperweight That's why I love farmers markets because if I go to Sam's Club or a grocery store that gives out like free samples of thing over half the time, I can't even take the free sample because I'm allergic to it because it's filled with like wheat and stuff. But at farmer's market, most of it is usually fruits and vegetables that they're sampling or pickles or something. It's like, girl, I'm not allergic to a pickle or a fruit. So I'm like, go into town. It's like my free sample slash Disneyland. I feel like we're always painting a mask when we do this. Like makeup lately does feel kind of like a mask because I am breaking out still from like so many makeup transformations. I hate complaining to you guys, but it's a lot of tough work and it's a tough on my face. So let's put on all that concealer. Another great thing to go to is like if any of your towns have like an arboretum or like a gar fancy garden thing. Like we have this one in Long Beach called I forgot what it was called honestly, but it's this Japanese koi garden at the Cal State Long Beach and it's open at odd hours, but it's completely free to go to. And they have like this whole section of like ancient bonsai trees that are like hundreds of years old. And they have like little statues of people who have like real kimonos on. You learn like history of Japan while you're there. Learning history, looking at beautiful flowers. And they have these beautiful Zen gardens with like sand art in it. And it's just so gorgeous. And not only that, what I really go there for is the koi fish. Over there for a quarter, I guess that's not free, but for like a quarter, you get a handful of, well, I don't think they do the quarter machines anymore. Maybe it's a couple dollars to get a handful of koi fish food and you get to feed the koi fish. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun and it's so beautiful. People like have weddings there. If you ever find a place where it's like, some sort of free amusement like zoo or arbory i guess zoos are kind of sad but anywhere like that where people go pay to like have weddings there girl it's worth going i don't know maybe i'm just like a simple minded person who's like kind of old soul which i've been told i am who likes just like very simple things like if i could just live in like a tree house and wear floral dresses every day well i guess not a tree house just a cottage and wear floral dresses every day and play board games all my life i would be content and happy because i'm an old woman on the inside so maybe this whole video is useless and only i think it's good ideas of free things to do another great place that's totally free to go to is record music stores we have this one out here called amoeba records in hollywood and it's like two stories and it's humongous i could spend we well i can i have spent hours in there me and my boyfriend like to go me and bunny like to go and it's just like so much fun to like look at all the cool music they have like everything from records to cds just everything even have like DVDs in like the second floor which is so fun and you get to discover new music with your friends which is always fun. So excited to crack this baby open and try this bronzer. I think this is bronzer. I'm gonna use it as bronzer. Oh my gosh music stores you meet such interesting people like ooh that's heavy I put too much. Girl what are you doing with your life? Maybe I need to like powder my face more. So that it'll blend nice and smoothly like butter. But yeah, going to music uh, record stores where they sell that stuff, like it's, I feel like it's like our last fossil like blockbuster. They don't have blockbuster or, or places where you can rent DVDs anymore. And I'm so terrified that they're not gonna have places where you can buy actual physical copies of CDs or albums or music anymore. So I love going there and like just talking to the people that work there about music because if they're friendly and nice enough, they'll see like the things you're buying. You don't have to spend money, like I said, to go here, but the things you're even looking at and you could talk about music and meet new people and just have different people's opinions on music you like and what their opinions are on it. Like the cashier at Amoeba sometimes will be like, oh my gosh, you have such good taste in music. And I'm like, oh no, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not that 
conceited, but it's just really cool. They could tell you like, oh, you know when their next album's gonna come out and learn so much? This moped, man, it's getting on my nerves. Okay, we're gonna contour the nose a little bit because I'm not turning into Bunny. That would be cool and interesting. I don't think I could do it, but I'm gonna contour my nose because sometimes she doesn't, but she doesn't need to because her nose is perfect. And like, when she does contour, it just looks so perfect and pretty. So trying to be successful at the makeups. I forgot to do highlighter. What am I doing with myself? Speaking of music, another place to go to is bookstores. Especially if you have secondhand bookstores. I think those are my favorite because I love buying books that have character to it, which means like someone else folded the pages or even written in it, as long as they don't write on the text that I want to read. It's totally found by me. I feel like it makes the book more interesting. Like what has this book's been through? Like what's this life been about? And one of my favorite bookstores out here is called, I think it's called Dark Delicacies. It's in Burbank in what I call Tim Burton Row or Tim Burton Land, where they have like all the Halloween town, year round Halloween things. It's just so magical because they have like books that are very creepy and like are a lot about hauntings and stuff. By the way, this is my new favorite blush by Tarte. It's called Fearless and it's pretty nice stuff. But yeah, I love bookstores and like Barnes and Nobles, I swear is me and my one of my best friends homeland because they got stationery and all types of things. Speaking of stationery and all types of things, even like going to a dollar store or like we have Daiso Japan, like I've showed you or told you about on this channel. Those types of places are so fun too, just to like go in and look at different things, especially if no one's been to a Daiso because it's everything's a dollar from Japan. Just go into like a store that just sells different stuff from different ethnicities and nationalities, like a Japanese store or things that sell like Latin inspired things, like so fun. Oh my gosh, I just used her my own blush and not hers. I'm so sorry. Which just sucks because I really like this blush. Does this thing really work? It's called. Why did I do that? I'm such a terrible friend. I'm sorry, Bunny. Here, I'll put some. Ooh, that's a lot of blush though. Wait. Let's knock that down with some powder. There, it's a little bitter. Now we need some more highlighter because I knocked all that off too. The highlighter is called Gator Wings, which I love. It sounds so like mystical. But yes, bookstores, like I said, Barnes and Noble, so awesome. And they have like, I think they still have a music se se section in it with like movies and DVDs. And there's like board games. Oh my gosh, this is so lame. But me and my friends, did I tell you this already? We would go to like McDonald's and play board games. Yeah, we were, you know, the popular kids in school. No, we weren't. We were the sad ones that uh, sat at home or played board games at McDonald's. Everyone could afford the dollar menu at least once in their lives, so we would eat that and play board games looking like fools in the middle of a McDonald's. And you see some interesting people, especially for their late at night. Oh my gosh, it reminded me, there used to be this game store at Westminster Mall here in California. And I forgot what it was called, Wizard something or Game World. It was all not like video games, it was board games. Even going to video game stores or board game stores, if you have them, they're so fun. I absolutely love board games. I don't know why, I feel like I'm the only person who likes that. Maybe I'm super old or something, but I like me some board games. Use also this Tarte one. I always use it like last to like fill in the darker spots. I use two different color eyebrow pencils almost every time I do my eyebrows for fancy stuff because I feel like our, 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 our eyebrows are not like just one color. I don't know. Like some of the hairs are thicker and darker in eyebrows. Set them brows with these stuff by Benefit. Why am I talking like this? Oh my gosh, another great thing that's totally free to go to. Not everyone is into this, but I love going to antique stores. And it just reminds me of Goosebumps for some reason. I feel like, oh, that was that mask episode. And I, she wasn't an antique store, she was in a mask shop. But I don't know why. Antique stores just remind me of the beginning of a horror film, like in a good way. Like something interesting really happened to here. And you're just imagining all the interesting people that came there. We're gonna start with Man Cat today. So excited to put this on my eyeballs. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like, oh, so dark, but it's so pigmented. I'm trying to do is like a semi cut crease. But yeah, antique stores are magical. I just love knowing the history of things and sometimes I bug the, I feel like I'm maybe I'm an annoying person where I bug the people that work there. But I like to ask the guy that like works at the antique store like, where'd this come from? What is this about? What is this? What's this? Like a weird grandkid who, not a weird one, but one who's like way 
ask too many questions, you know? Like me and Bunny absolutely love going to antique stores together and looking at cracked dolls and I like looking at creepy weird stuffed animals and she likes the cracked dolls which is weird because the stuffed animals are not always healthy for you. What I mean by healthy is like sometimes I feel like they could like have parasites in them or something. Depending on where you get them from. Like I get terrified of like it having bugs in it because I don't know where it's been. Let's get the gold eyeshadow called Sassy Bun. This, I think this is like, I can't pick one favorite color in this palette because I swatched them right when I got it. But um, Sassy Bun is one of my favorites. I really like the, I like all of them, especially that orange sparkly, orange. I mean the brown sparkly one and the orange one's good too. If you want to know what favorite antique store me and Bunny love to go to in uh, LA area, there's one in Burbank called The Bearded Lady Vintage. It's like a house turned into an antique store and the people that own that place are so incredibly nice and adorable and another one is uh the long beach i think it's called the antique mall there's two of them across the street from each other we go to both of them i'm gonna have to dip into something that's a little cooler for my transition so i'm gonna get this right here it's not from the palette but you know what i know bunny would be okay with it and another great free place to go to to hang out with. If you guys live anywhere near a beach or you have something called like a boardwalk, even if it's like by a lake or water or something, those are so nice because there's so many shop that shop, shop, shops that have beachy things. There's just something about being close to the ocean and like the ocean breeze. It's like so magical. I'm so sorry if you get live in like the middle of nowhere where there's no beach. I'm so sorry. I'm making it look like a rusty, purpley, with antique gold kind of thing. It's looking cute! In my opinion, you might think it looks like my eyes are being burned out of my face. Like the sockets are, my skin's all burnt, but I don't care. This orange color is called Dog Man. So cool, because he loves orange and blues. Oh my gosh, another great place to go to that's a garden arboretum if you live in like the LA area in near Newport Beach. There's this place called Rogers Garden and it's like a Home Depot garden section for fancy people who could afford a lot of fancy expensive plants and stuff because it's so freaking expensive. Me and my friend go there a lot because it's so awesome. But we're also one of those girls that love going to uh, Hobby Lobby in Michael's all the time. We don't even craft that much, we just like looking at everything. Another great place to go to if you live in the LA area is like a makeup store. Not just anyone. I mean Sephora is great and stuff and you would want to spend money at any makeup store but you don't really necessarily have to I guess. I like to call it window shopping even for makeup and just swatching on your hands and Namie's and Nigel's and friends out here. They're makeup stores that are for special effects and like fancy Hollywood makeup artists and stuff but it's totally free to go in there and just like look at everything. It's so fun. Okay, Bunny, I'm gonna put more of your blush on my face. So yeah, going to makeup stores, there's even like specialty makeup stores out here in LA. In Burbank, Tim Burton Town that I call, they have this store there called Besame, and there's one in Whittier too now, and it's like all time period make inspired makeup. Like the woman that made this company, she studied time period makeup and all her products are like inspired by the 1920s and the 1950s. And their packaging is gorgeous and it's like just an art form to look at the packaging and everything. I guess another great free thing to go to that everyone knows of is the mall, but people get sick of the mall really easily. I'm lucky because in California we have like Delamo Mall and South Coast Plaza and they're literally like you can get lost in there and spend hours walking. It's not like a regular mall, there's like high end stuff at the South Coast one and they're both like fairly huge. It's like its own little town. I think this MAC liner is limited edition, so unfortunately I don't know if you get it. It sucks and I didn't think about it, but I just love the color. Let's get some of that purpley man cat a little bit down here too. Oh my gosh, and I had this great idea. I'm gonna put some brown liner as my water line. Another great thing to do that's free is hiking and it's exercise too. A lot of people I know who say they're lazy and don't like hiking, sometimes they'll try it and if you have like good company with you, it's actually really fun. Just gotta watch out for like wild animals sometimes. But I love like those towns that have like outdoor like events where they have like bands and stuff, local bands, those are always fun too and they're free. Most of them, I think. I remember the town I grew up in, we had every summer on Thursdays, at night we would have like a summer band and like local band and they'd sell snacks there and stuff. You just bring a blanket in your body. It was like so much fun just to like hang out with your friends outdoors and 
you know, breathe air. Got an idea. So to get this orange color like more in different areas, I'm gonna put some orange eyeliner on my bottom lash line so you can really notice that there's orange on my eyeballs and it will blend into the orange eyeshadow and just look extra interesting. So this is definitely turning into a not so everyday look unless, I mean you can wear this everyday. I mean I would. Oh, another great farmer's market. There's one in Long Beach, like downtown Long Beach near the Queen Mary. I think it's on Fridays. I used to go there because I used to work at a law office down there. And oh my gosh, it was so fun to like take a break on a Friday during your lunch and go get these. They have delicious like hot links there. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And they had cherries that were delicious there, I remember. Just fun to like try stuff that your local neighbors make or do and like, you know, conversate with people you live near. I'm gonna get more of that gold eyeshadow I love and put it on the bottom lash line just a little bit. What else is really fun? Have you guys seen that new Bob's Burgers episode? Well, I'm obsessed with Bob's Burgers and they had that adventure where they went looking for this two but a goat. Like stuff like that, if you find urban legends about your town, that's totally free and you could go and do that. One of my favorite things, I mean, this is not for everybody. I love going to look for haunted places and every town has like a story or urban legend or something haunted and just going out with your friends late at night and doing that, just don't get in trouble with the police or you know, go on someone's property when you're not supposed to. But it's just totally fun to do things like that and like look up urban legends. That totally sounds like something me and Bunny would do. This is Just Slaying by Violet Voss Lashes. I'm going fancy. Go fancy or go home. I remember in high school, well, it was after high school when I graduated, I got this book called Weird California. I think my dad had it. And me and my friend went through the whole thing and we marked all of the things that we wanted to do. All the creepy places, haunted places we wanted to go and see for ourselves. And that was just so much fun. And we didn't necessarily do all of it, but just like the act of it was so fun of like, oh my gosh, reading and learning history upon things. I'm one of those weird people who likes to learn new things. Even with board games, I used to get with my friends like a French card game and just like learn it. It hopefully had English or I'd look it up online. But just like stuff like that is just so fun to me. But yeah, haunted things. Oh my gosh, one of my friends. Uh, I went to go visit her in Missouri and I've never met her other friend, her bestest friend, and she was so excited to meet me because she talks about me all the time. Like, oh, I have this friend named Kat and she like makes YouTube videos and they probably think I'm a freak weirdo that talks to myself in my room. But I finally met her and she was so cool and she was so nice. She even like, Miss Dear Abby took us to, that's what was her name. She she like looked up all of the greatest like horror stories and and urban legends about their town and like took me there personally as like a tour guide and it was so much fun. And we were like waiting in the middle of a field on a r dirt abandoned road like waiting for this ghost to appear and just like even if we didn't see anything just the act of that it was so much fun. As these dry I'm gonna put my lipstick on and tell you which one should I pick? I think this one. Of uh, what my other favorite free thing to do if you guys have like any type of candle store or like lotion shop like we have lush out here oh my goodness it's so fun just to even smell them no that's weird i'm totally into it you know you don't buy anything it's like to think about what you're gonna spend your next paycheck on oh and we have this really cool store I forgot what it was called oh brookstone where you could try different gadgets for your house that are like so ridiculously expensive but you could like Try massage chairs and stuff, that's always fun. I mean, I don't like a Ikea, but getting lost in there sounds like fun with a good friend. Blend them lashes, girl, into the real ones to the fake ones. Let's tie this back up. I think I got this at H&M if you really wanna know, cause everyone asks me like, what are you wearing, what's your headband? H&M, I think I got this at, Fr yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that at Forever 21. I got this little top at H&M. I don't know if they still sell this top at H&M. I got it months ago and I just like forgot about it and you ever, get something brand new and you're like oh my gosh it still has tag lines in my closet is it just me let me re-put this in my hair all nice and cute like i mean we spent all this time on the makeup why not go out i mean i'm probably just going to go to sonic after this but you know at least i'll look cute while i'm sipping on my limeade sonic is a drive through that's amazing has amazing drinks and shakes so I hope you guys liked this makeup look slash chat video of Bunny's palette with Tarte, of her Swamp Queen eyeshadow palette, and her lip colors. 
I mean, they're both great. I used Texas Toast today. This was just so much fun to make and chat with you guys. I just love this lip color. It's like this grayish lavender purple mauve tone. I can't explain it. It's just so gorgeous. And these eyeshadows are so great with any eye color. I can see anyone wearing it of any walks of life. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I just want to congratulate Bunny so much. I congratulate her personally, but I'm just so incredibly proud of her, and I'm so lucky to have a friend like her, and I know she's, like, dreamed about something like this forever, and just, like, her dreams coming true, it is just so magical to see. I know that she worked so hard on this and handpicked the colors, so... Oh my gosh, it is just so great. I'm so proud. I can't even say it enough. I hope you guys get this palette when it's available. Such great quality of pigments and colors. I'm not just saying this because she's my friend, but it is just a great sturdy palette and so worth it. Thank you guys for chatting with me today. I hope you enjoyed all the things that I love doing that doesn't cost money and that's totally fun without like ruining your wallet. Leave me a comment below on what's something you like to do for fun that doesn't cost a lot of money. Love you all. Bye. Are we focused? Is it in focus? Is it good? We will say. I feel like I came from ye old time periods. This like ties up, but we're gonna take it off later. I'll sexy like. I'm kidding. There's nothing sexy about me or this channel at all. Here, let's let's make this y'all. Oh, it feels a little claustrophobic. And you gotta work, 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 work. That song has been stuck in my head. Blend, 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 blend. Just a little bit. What's that song? Did it did it just a little bit. Sometimes I forget you guys are here and I feel like I cover my face with this mirror too much. You know, you want to look like you're really trying hard and like present this well and nicely. So I got a fancy collared shirt.